Real Vision CEO Rao Powell believes that Ethereum is the best moving crypto privacy coin. Monero hard forks to add extra privacy. And unfortunately, Polkadot's DeFi project, Akala, was hacked, causing their native stablecoin to collapse to zero. My name is Ben. This is your nightly crypto news wrap up. Let's get it. When deciding what projects to jump into or not jump into, you have to consider what the institutions are going to do and why. Swim with the whales, right? There will always be a back and forth argument over if proof of work is better than proof of stake and vice versa. Regardless of which one is actually better or worse, what matters to you is what projects the big money is going to empty their pockets on. Unfortunately, given the political climate of the past decade, Optics and how things appear from the outside looking in matters now more than ever. So it's much easier for institutions to rationalize unloading on something that is more energy efficient and has less of an effect on power consumption and consequently climate change. We all know that the merge from Ethereum to ETH 2.0, switching from proof of work to proof of stake, is multiplying ETH's output exponentially while minimizing its energy consumption by over 99%. This alone is a big eye-opener to institutional investors. And Real Vision CEO Rao Powell believes that Ethereum is the safest easy bet because the money of the internet is ETH currently. Nothing is exchanged in Bitcoin, literally nothing. He also stated that the merge eliminates the need for energy intensive mining and instead secures the network using staked ETH. This is a truly exciting step in realizing the Ethereum vision more scalability, security, and sustainability. Although some investors out there still think the merge will be a sell the new situation, and maybe it will be at first, I don't think so, but when the efficiency improves the utility and time, it's hard to argue that ETH won't ever catch up to Bitcoin. It's already well on its way. So let's pass it to our guy Frankie Candles for a market watch. Thanks, Ben. All right, guys, let's jump in and do a little market watch here. We've got Bitcoin coming in at $24,143, up about 1.5% on the week. We've got Ethereum coming in at $1,900 even, up about 7% on the week. Now, guys, I want to bring you over to the Bitcoin chart. We have some bearish things popping up, some of those things being a red dot printing on market cipher B on the daily time frame these typically do bring us down quite a bit so there could be a potential pullback on the horizon here now to add insult to injury we do have the 16 hour confirmed red dot as well as a 12 hour confirmed red dot and our money flow on the lower time frames is coming out so this is pretty bearish i think we could potentially see a pullback here so be ready for that if you guys want to follow me it's frankie candles on youtube or frankie underscore candles on all socials back to the news Thanks, Frank. As regulators and governments continue to try to do anything they can to invade our financial privacy, some projects are doing what they can to improve our privacy as much as possible. Privacy coins are used to stay under the radar, high transactions, and who sends and receives them. Obviously, some people will take advantage of this and use it for the wrong reasons, but that doesn't mean that financial privacy isn't something that should be respected just like privacy in the real world. Popular privacy coin Monero successfully completed a hard fork upgrade on Saturday to make their network more private. They stated that the network is now more private and efficient with ring size 16, bulletproofs, and view tags. The previous ring size was 11, now it's 16. That increases the anonymity set, makes it harder to reverse engineer the sources of a transaction. The bulletproofs plus algorithm improves the verification performance, and the view tags reduce the sync times by 40%. Bullish news from Monero, whose native coin XMR is up over 45% since the start of July. Definitely one to keep your eye on, if you can see it. See it? Hey, it's, it's a privacy coin. It's like, came up. Never mind. Polkadot's DeFi platform, the Akala Network, has been the latest victim of a hacking exploit. The dot parachain had a misconfiguration in its new liquidity pool, causing it to mint over 1.2 billion tokens, causing the stablecoin to lose its peg and fall to zero. They did quickly put everything into maintenance mode to stop swaps and transfers, which stopped the funds from actually leaving the blockchain. This morning, they proposed a governance vote to burn the erroneously minted AUSD to try to restore things back to normal. But many feel the damage is already done. It's also a bad look from the outside looking in that another stablecoin lost its peg 
which gives all the regulators even more ammo to crack down on stable coins and shove CBDCs down our throats. The timing really couldn't have been worse for this one because CBDCs are coming whether we like it or not. Let's just hope they can coexist with stable coins that we use every day like USD and Tether. Let's hope Dots Akala gets everything worked out to save their parachain. And let's hope no more stable coins go down because every time one goes down, the regulator's voices get louder and louder. That's all I got. Be blessed. Good boy out.